Hi and welcome in the presentation of beta version of Shadow Analysis 2 for SketchUp. Shadow Analysis 2 is massively faster than its predecessor. It also has many additional features on top of installation analysis. What you just saw was a quick demo of the plugin. Now let's talk about all the features. Let's start from plugins menu in SketchUp. On the top of it, you have presets, which allows you to choose a type of analysis you want to perform. Below, you can select a day and time when analysis starts and ends. Further below, you can set the analysis precision in meters. This will create a grid of points on which analysis will be performed. The number describes the distance between points. The smaller the number, the more precise analysis would be, but it will take more time to calculate it. Now we can hit calculate and see the result. And there you have it, an analysis for Polish building regulations. White color denotes that everything's okay, and yellow and red color denotes that there are some problems. Now let me explain how to select windows for the analysis. You have to go to materials in SketchUp and then to in model. Then there you can find a shadow analysis, analysis material and shadow analysis glass. To select surfaces for analysis, use analysis material. The shadow analysis glass material will get more useful in the next versions of the plugin where we introduce the daylight factor analysis. To select a surface for analysis, just simply apply the material for the surface. If you would like to exclude the surface from the analysis, just apply any other material on it. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that beta version is free to use until the end of the tests. And here you can see how I added 5 new windows to analysis. Other massively useful tool is Analysis Queue. It allows you to stack up multiple analyses and perform them all at once. This will won't take extra time compared to doing one analysis at a time. So you can do like four of them in the same time as one. To add analysis to the queue, set all the details and hit a queue button. When you're done with all the analysis you want to perform, click calculate to calculate all of them. When analysis is done, you can use analysis queue drop-down menu to select which analysis you want to display. Now let's go through all the buttons in Shadow Analysis 2. First icon allows you to save image. Second icon allows you to save Shadow Analysis file. It will be a 3D model with all the analysis saved as maps. The set of next four icons allows you to manipulate the view of the Shadow Analysis. With first you can move it, second is to rotate, for the next one is to zoom in and out, and last one will reset the mouse. Next icon will allow you to restore a view from the SketchUp. The icon with black circle will allow you to display all the elements of the model. Next icon will allow you to do a horizontal section of the model. The icon with top written on it will show the view from the top. And the next four icons with letters N, S, W and E will show the view from the respective directions. At the end, you have a drop-down menu from, for the analysis queue. And that's it. We would be super grateful for any feedback on our plugin. We are currently working on daylight factor feature, so you can expect it soon.